What's up, YouTube? You know, my channel is all about design. It's a lot about graphic design, but it's all about design because design principles are universal. And so this, this past week, I got my pre-ordered copy of The 99% Invisible City by Roman Mars and Kurt Coldstead. And I have been waiting for this book since they announced it. If you don't listen to The 99% Invisible podcast, you really should because it is such a good design podcast. Some designers, they don't want to listen to 99% Invisible because it's a lot about architecture and urban design. And of course, this book, The 99% Invisible City, is obviously about urban design and a lot about architecture and that kind of thing. But just because you're a graphic designer doesn't mean you don't have anything to learn from other fields of design, right? Because those design principles are universal. I was so excited to get this book. I have learned so much from the 99% Invisible podcast. I was really excited to be able to dig in and read this book. I haven't gotten super far into it yet. I've only had it for a few days and it's a, it's a pretty hefty, hefty volume there. There's a lot in here, but I just wanted to talk to you about it. First off, what a, what a beautiful book this is. Like, it's just so well put together, right? The branding here with the yellow and the black is so on brand for 99% Invisible. It's really well designed. It's beautiful on hardcover and just put together so well. There are just pages of illustrations and the layout is just wonderful. Um, it really is a book for design nerds. And it's something that you can really dig into and you can learn from. You know, in my free design courses, I talk about universal principles. And in my most recent course on shapes, I talk about seeing shapes and learning to see the world as a designer sees it, right? To look at things. And the idea behind the phrase 99% invisible is that most design, good design, is invisible to the people looking at it, which means that you have to actually learn to see. And because observing design is one of the best ways to improve your own design. With shapes, it's all about learning to see the shapes in the objects that you are trying to create when you're doing graphics. And so learning to see what you just normally pass over or learning to interpret things in a, the way that a designer does is really important. And I think that's what's so helpful about the 99% Invisible podcast and this book is it starts to show you the story behind why things are the way they are. It gets you to start asking questions, more questions than the book itself or that the podcast itself can answer, right? Which means you're going to go out and you're going to learn more. And the more that you learn, the better a designer you are going to be because you are going to learn to see the world. You're going to learn to see the problems that people encounter that they don't even know that they are encountering because it's so part of their everyday. And you're going to start to see things in a different way and you're going to start to design in a better way. So I really recommend that you go ahead, look up the 99% Invisible City, pick this book up uh, from wherever you buy books or get it from your library. The library is a great way to be able to get a hold of a book and read it. This is not a sponsored video. I just have been a big fan of the 99% Invisible podcast for years and years, pretty much ever since I started doing design. And this book is just kind of the next step in that in about learning more about the design of the world around us, right? The subtitle here is a field guide to the hidden world of everyday things. And I love that. And I, th I feel like that's kind of a callback to Don Norman's book, The Design of Everyday Things, which another fantastic title, something else that you should read. So anyways, just want to give you my thoughts on that. Like I said, I haven't read the whole book, so maybe I'll talk more about it, do a full review later when I have finished it. But what I've read so far has been really, really interesting. And there's so many cool things to learn about in this world. And so many people that have gone before us in design. So go ahead, check the book out, give it a read or a listen to in the audiobook. Go ahead and pop in the comments and let me know what your favorite book on design is because I would love to read more books like this. We'll chat in the comments and I will see you in the next video.